Hello, viewers. Hello, viewers. Ed Channing in here. I'm on another solo trip. We're taking, I'm taking you to the historic, historic haunted location, Batchers Grove. This is the area under the woods that you have to park, the forest preserve that you have to park your car in to approach Batchers Grove. Batchers Grove is southwest of this location. And I plan on bringing something back with me. So stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, viewers, I haven't been to Bachelor's Grove since 1976. This used to what you're going to see here, Pat, used to be a drive. Actually, used to be a drive back into Bachelor's Grove, including the one where he had my wife in the car, who is sensitive, and she got down in the back of the, down on the floor of the car begging me to get out of here. So we're going to walk the path that used to be a drive. Were many, including the one where he had my wife in the car, who is sensitive, and she got down in the back of the, down on the floor of the car, begging me to get out of here. So we're going to walk the path that used to be a drive. It's eerie being here. For the day, during the day, as I do have memories of this place when I did come back here with me and my friend Dave. Things that happened, I hopefully, I can show you once we get back there where. But this is a trail, hopefully, back into the cemetery of Bachelor's Grove. If not, we'll look for others. Okay, I've come across a little dilemma here, as there's a split in the road. And one area is fenced off, gates open of course, but looks like they don't want people going through by bike, etc. So, let me go down there first and see what I come to. Yeah, I just love things like this. I'll be down. I'm in Bachelor's Grove. Holy cow. There are still headstones here. Wow. This area is kind of taking a beating, as you know. There's still headstones here. This whole area, if you don't know, if you haven't noticed, or don't know the history of Bachelor Grove, if you just look it up on the website or at our site, has been known to uh, was an old German, old old German uh, burial ground, and most of the Germans buried here, 18, 1700s, I guess, were bachelors. So that's where the name Bachelor's Grove comes from. I'm actually surprised I walked down to this thing, not knowing I was going to walk up on it. So let's take a little bit more of a tour. As I said, say take what we got. Panic rituals have been held out here. People have really. Uh, Curiosity seekers, etc., they kind of destroyed this area. It's a shame. You know, wonder the spirits would be highly active. When we were out here, me and my buddy Dave did have a bad experience with something coming at us. We were out here at night back in '76 when we were allowed to, and uh, we we're by a lagoon that was out here then. And let's see if I can still find it. But what happened was the lagoon, uh, we got close to the edge of the lagoon. We seen a reflection in the moon. 
approximately six feet away from it, and we heard footsteps coming toward us from nowhere. Now, we were out of there like Evan Costello. So you can see, this is a shame the way the condition is here at Bachelors Grove. But there are still some things in existence. Headstones, burial grounds. Let me see if I can find that lagoon. I see it now. I see the lagoon now. Let's take a walk. We came walking through here. And probably the path you see right here. Okay. And we came through. Right here. And we were probably standing at this point. Of course, there was no fence then. This is wide open. But we were probably standing at this point. And where we were standing, it's a clear reflection of the lagoon. I call it lagoon. And out of nowhere, came footsteps up at us. Of course, the area's changed. What, I guess in the 20s, 1920s, 1910s, mapsters used to use this as their own burial ground, this lagoon. And things have been known to be seen and heard at night. As you can tell by to cover. Looks like not much activity. Matter of fact, it looks dead. Okay. Taking a little walk. It's so another headstone. So it's says infant daughter. Interesting. Go back to it. Looks like there's been visitors here, of course. And let's see who may be the family. Well, there's Fulton, and there's the father's name. Or this father, 1922. So I would imagine the girl is much younger, and maybe this area was a family plot. Who knows? Is there are still some things located here? What? Well, as some of you may know, I'm into doing stuff with pendulums. I'd love to get my new Ouija boards error cards and stuff like that but like I said with the pendulum and I use a pendulum well, looks like to me viewers that mother nature or the spirit itself have not wanted Bachelors Grove to be a fenced off area as you can see by these multiple tree multiple trees that have fallen in breaking down the fences surrounding Bachelors Grove. A little bit about the uh, history of these some of these headstones here in Bachelors Grove is that people have actually been reported that one moment they're here they come back and they're gone. 
course, there's vandalism that goes on in here. But the weirdest thing is, a month or two later, they reappear. Could it be the fact that they're meant to be here? And the spirits did not like their new home? You decide. Who says we do some walking down the trail? Come across some more headstones. That must be the headstone. And that must be the foundation for it. So more or less the body is probably right underneath me. Here's another headstone. I here's like I said another headstone. The thing about videotaping, things appear, and maybe you've seen them in the cable show. Spirits, orbs, whatever, on film that can't be seen with the naked eye. Also, if you visit our website, theunexplainedworld.com, I've posted pictures I've taken up there, or posted pictures there that I've taken here. So take a view, take a visit there if you get the opportunity. There's an entry gate again, which is also looks like it's been set up not to be shut. And here's where we came in. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye. Ed Shanahan here for the Unexplained World. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Hello, viewers. Hello, viewers. Uh, I think I'm back in... I know that was the ending of the show, but wandering back here, I found something from the old German settlement that may be of interest to the viewers. Walking further south on the trails, you're in the Bachelor Grove. As you can see, here is what looks like a dried up well. Okay. And it's very eerie being here right now, looking at this thing. I got the heebie-jeebies. Why is it closed off? Why is the stones? Why has it been? Why has it been basically covered with stones? So no lunch. Maybe there was an entry there. Rumor has it that it's just in a well. Others rumors have it. Well, out of your imagination, decide where this leads. I'll stick with the well story. Okay, viewers, um, still walking. Came across this area. Not much is growing here. Could this be the old settlement, old German settlement, where they came in? and did it and lived can this be the area where people said they sighted a house and yet no house exists we got a feeling from this area ladies and gentlemen matter of fact I'm covered with sweat something ain't right about here could this be where the satanic Rituals are held. I don't know. I'm just happy I'm here during the day. Here is there something I came across I couldn't pass up. Showing you, it's probably the oldest tree back here. And how weird it looks. Does it look evil? Sure, this tree has memories, and if it could talk, it would. It's a weird looking tree. It's an old tree. If you hear noises in this area, as I do, Things are moving around. 
I don't know what. I don't know who. But you know what? I think we'll call it a day. Thank you for joining the unexplained world. And go to our website to see more photos. Thank you very much. And goodbye.